Welcome back to another Civilization 6 video. In this one, we're talking about mods, specifically five mods that make your life easier and actually a little bit better at the game. These mods are all standalone. It's not some CQ UI or concise UI where some pack of mods together. These are all individual mods that I kind of just picked and actually looked at and I really liked. So first of all, if you are a beginner, if this is your first time playing Civilization VI, I do not recommend installing any of these mods. They basically add more information to the screen and you can just kind of get overwhelmed with all the information and not just have fun and enjoy the game. But if you're more, if you played a few games, you kind of know what's going on, then you could definitely, I would definitely recommend installing these mods so you can get even better at the game. If you do not know how to install a mod, I'm just going to show you how to install it through Steam. What you do here is you just click on the workshop tab or you can either go through community then workshop and then find your way to civilization six you just go down to click on a mod here and you just click subscribe and from there it'll download it right to your computer when you're in the game you just go to additional content and then you go to mods you can unclick official content and then you can just see all the mods you have currently installed in your game and then you can just click here you can enable it or disable it at will the first mod I'll talk about is because we've all been in this situation. One turn, it's 20 or 40 turns until the next era. The next turn, it's only 10 turns and you need that, you need that one more point just so you don't fall into a dark age so you get, you get all these loyalty problems because you're going all the way through an empire or you just want to get the golden age makes your loyalty problems are really not an issue or maybe you want to make sure you stay in a dark era so you get maybe one of these nice policies such as such as elite forces or maybe even flower power previously you would have to click over here on historic moments and go through this huge huge list to try to figure out if you get enough error score all right look at this one barb camp destroyed okay i need to destroy a barb camp uh min era ancient max medieval oh it's okay okay i gotta write that down i can get that one okay i can get desert city can i phone a city another city on a desert in 10 turns ah it's just so tough you have to go through all these and try to figure out what you can do it's a pain so this mod is called Real Era Tracker. The way you access it is you go to the top right of the screen, the list of reports tab, and you go down to Era Tracker. The way the mod works is there are four tabs at the very top. The favorite tab, there is a world tab, civilization tab, and then repeatable. The way these are split up is basically world is you compete against all other AIs for these historic moments. Civilizations are ones just for you, and repeatable are ones that other AIs and yourself can get. So let's do a little bit of an example. We could make sure we click hide from different eras and currently not available down here. We can also make sure we click hide not active because we've already in this game, we've already defended a successful emergency. I don't know why people would do a military emergency against us. So let's just get rid of that. We could further refine our list by clicking on unclicking these to go down to if we only need one error score. So what we can do here is we can do a snow city. We have not done a snow city, but we've done other things in this game like a desert city. So it's working. You can also this hover over one of these descriptions and get a more detailed description of what the historic moment is. Overall, this mod is pretty useful just for getting that last point or or if you want to actually try for a few points you can actually favor a few and then you can look here and make sure you get that when it's the next when it's your era the sex mod makes life with spies a lot easier it's called a better espionage screen if we to access it we go over to the right here, click on the espionage tab, once you have a spy, win at the game. And you can see here, not much has changed. On the left hand side of this video is the old unmodded screen, and on the right side is the modded screen. You can see the operative tabs, and additionally, the mission history tabs are not really changed. But what changed the most is city activity. Well, 
the only thing that really changed are these two things up here. We can now sort by civilizations and also by districts. The way this is actually really, really nice when you get your spy and want to place it in a city. The old way you would have to scroll down to a city, find a commercial hub, because that's what you usually want to go for first. But, you know, talking about that is a different video. We're just talking about this sweet mod. But now we have this nice thing we can sort by civilizations, but we can also sort by districts, which is the best thing. You can just click on this district tab here, click on commercial hub, and here are all the cities that we have revealed which have commercial hubs. Additionally, you can select theater square. Now these are the cities that have commercial subs and theater squares and click here industrial zone. So there are only two cities in the world. Obviously ours does because <laughs> we're awesome. But we can also unselect these by just clicking on them once and we just like click on something else. This will make this makes life so much easier when trying to play spies. Just a nice quality of life improvement. Oh man, this mod right here is essential for any culture game. It is called Great Works Viewer. If we look on this tab, here is what the original monstrosity looks like. Okay, I, well, I, gotta, I gotta theme these art museums. Let's click this one. Okay, I gotta hold this down, then hold my scroll wheel. Okay, let's go way over here, and now we can change it. But, if we have this mod, we can organize by building type. We can click here on art, and here are all of our places where we can put our art. We can also click on artifact, by type, writing. Oh, we can allow Y. Whoa, look at how huge a screen in. This, this mod makes life so much easier, especially for artifacts. It is a pain to theme all of these artifacts in a game, even art, it is a pain. See, this this mod makes things a lot easier. Just look at this, the original. This is just, oh, this is so bad. It is so bad. So I really, really recommend Great Works Viewer. So mine I'll be showing you, I do not personally use, but I can definitely see the appeal. It is more lenses. And the way this works is you can basically click on a builder and look at this. It highlights all the tiles that need improvement around the map. This is actually extremely useful, especially in the late game when you already have a lot of improvements. I know I've done this before. Where I got a builder, just I don't know five builds left. I have nowhere. I don't know where to go go with this guy. And look at this. We can go build a lumber mill right there. We can go way over here. We can build another lumber mill there. All this stuff. This makes things really useful. Additionally, when you select a naturalist, it'll highlight areas where you can build a national park. Unfortunately, there are no areas left in this game for me to build a national park so I can't really show that off. Additionally, if you have a unit such as a Spec Ops or a Recon unit or a Scout, it'll highlight the goodie huts for you. So there's one right here, even on turn 271 of the game, come on AI. Even there's, there's another one up here. Oh man. There are even more lenses. If you just click down here, we can actually figure out where all the antiquity sites are. There's one here, a shipwreck there. Okay, another one here. Let's just, it just makes things a lot easier. We can also click on wonders. If you have a rock band that needs to go after a wonder in the world, now you know where to go. And you can also see where barbarian, oh, there's one. There's one right there. Let's go up here and just take care of this barbarian encampment right away. The next mod that I'll be talking about is basically my favorite mod of all time, like hands down. And this is better report screen. Just look at this. On the top right, we can click on the list of reports and look at the how many more reports we get. But what you really want to use this for is the policy screen. If you can't remember what a policy is, it's stuff you unlock throughout the game and you can add them into your government slots here. But it does something so good. It basically calculates how good each policy is. So if we have the option here, oh no, I only have one slot here for additional gold. I really need additional gold. Which one's better? This one for a commercial hub adjacency bonus or free market? Oh, I don't want to do the math. Well, this mod does it for you. So you click over here in the top right, you click on policies, and then the first thing you should do every game is click high policies with no impact, and bam, there we go. 
Trade Confederation, Triangular Trade, Eight Gold Per Turn, it's way better than Town Charters and even Free Market. So pff, we don't need Free Market or the other one. Let's go for Triangular Trade for the gold. In addition to all of these policies, look at this. This is National Philosophy, Rationalism. Each give you 21, 24 science, conscription. This, my unit maintenance by one gold per turn, it, I save 13 gold per turn. That is just so good. We also have stuff here, diplomatic policies, wildcard policies, dark age policies, pantheon beliefs, follower beliefs, all this stuff. However, the pantheon beliefs, you're not really going to use much because at that time in the game, you really only have like one city founded and you kind of do stuff based on where you're going to fall in your cities, aka you're going to fall next to a pastures, you choose this one, you fall, you know, fall next to the ocean, you choose God of the Sea, stuff like that. But one thing I did not know is this screen actually has a lot more tabs. Look at this. So we'll just go through them a little bit. Yields, okay, whatever, resources, this is all kind of nice stuff to know. If you don't know much about the game, it is really useful to kind of see all what's going on with your empire. So you can see here, growth here, minus 75%. That's because we're way over our housing limit in these cities. We can also go to the gossip tab, the deals tab, one more turn till this completed, I better, you know maybe try to get a better deal or you know renegotiate the deal with the greek and the spanish empire next turn there's also this really helpful units tab previously you would have to find one of your units here and then click right here to kind of scroll through your units to figure out where they are on the map now you can just go over here click on units and look here and then it also tells you what they're nearby and also their maintenance costs per term and there's also the minor screen, which is about city-states. We can look here. Let's just look at the scientific one. This, if we have one envoy at a scientific city-state, it'll give us two signs per turn. Three envoys, it'll give us 12. That is because we have four, six cities. Sorry, six cities with libraries. Six times two is 12. We additionally, if we have six envoys there, we'll get another 12 science per turn. This stuff in parentheses is because there are two total scientific city states in this game. So we can have this as a maximum basically towards our science return that we can get. Additionally, there is a power tab. So you can see what cities are have power, which cities require power, and you know, try to fix it. Overall, this mod is by far my favorite mod and is just for policies. It makes life so much simpler. A lot of times you need to like put in two or three loyalty. I don't know why you'd want loyalty for <coughs> warmongering or stuff like that. <laughs> so you need to really optimize your like one or two remaining policy slots. So that is what you use this for. Thank you for watching this video. I have other civilization videos where we basically don't find our first city playing on DD until turn 20, or we play as a desert civilization founded in the snow. You can go ahead and find those videos below, or I'll just kind of link them to the side of this video. Thanks for watching.